Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. So I wanted to do a special, what is your vibe giving off right now? Reading, okay? So if that's something that interests you, do stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? <laughs> Gemini, I feel like you got people shook right now. First of all, we had the moon that came out, okay? So your vibe is giving off like mysterious. It's giving like something I know that you don't know, right? Like maybe people think that you have some kind of secret or secret knowledge, Gemini. They could think that you're very intuitive. People could get a really like mystical, spiritual vibe off of you. Like, I just feel like people feel like you're a lot deeper than you let on. You know more than you let on. You're not saying all that you could say. There's something about that. Some people could feel like you're sneaky or you got some kind of secrets too with the seven of swords, the moon. Yeah, you know, for sure. Um, Gemini, we have the protected energy with the door to opportunity. I just feel like people feel like your vibe is like you, you have some kind of secret come up, a secret project. Something that you're working on that maybe you're not letting people know, that could be something for sure. But your vibe also gives off like success. It gives off protected. It does give off like strong boundaries too. Like I'm going to take care of mine. I'm going to worry about me. I'm going to do what I have to do to protect myself or to make sure my opportunities are kept safe. That's for some of you guys, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sitting in your power. Okay. Making decisions for yourself. Um, taking leadership uh, roles in certain areas of your life, perhaps like, you know, like taking ownership over things. I'm just getting that energy. Some of you could have gotten more open recently with your spirituality, with your family or something, or maybe at your workplace. So people could be seeing you as a little witchy for sure. I heard a little witchy, a little bitchy. Hey, that's for somebody. Okay. I'm getting that energy for sure. Um, also with the moon, it's giving Cancerian energy and that is talking about the home and being very protected and self-protected too. So people could see you as somebody who you have your boundaries right up right now. You're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to keep yourself safe. You're keeping your family safe, doing what you need to do. Okay. How, what was Gemini's vibe saying about them right now? What is Gemini's vibe saying about them? Let's find out. Okay. What is Gemini's vibe? Oh, Okay, right? Booked and unbothered, that's for damn sure with the relaxation coming out like, yes, everything that's meant for me is meant for me, right? What's meant for me is meant for me. I literally have a invisible red string of fate that's connected to me, to my opportunities, to my soulmate, to my destiny, right? I don't need to stress about any of this shit. Uh, that's the energy I'm getting again. There's people around you, the vibe that you're giving off is that you just know that you're taken care of. You know that you're on the right track. You know what you're doing, where you're going. You're relaxed. You have everything under control. Gemini, you might not feel this way. <laughs> Some of you might not feel this way, but that is the vibe that you give off, okay? For some of you, you're giving off a big vibe of like self-care. Again, taking care of yourself, all right? For some of you, maybe you're getting a lot of spiritual baths right now or just, you know, bathing in general, relaxing, lounging, um, enjoying yourself, maybe soaking your feet or something like that. Maybe going and getting pedicures, manicures, even if you're a masculine, whatever, okay? Um, there's nothing wrong with getting your feet massaged or like, you know, getting the gunk taken out of the nails and stuff like men can do that too. There's absolutely nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. Maybe you're going and getting your, I'm getting somebody who's getting a hot towel put on their beard. I don't know what that does. Okay. But that's what they're showing me like at the barber shop, getting yourself taken care of. Maybe you're going to like a massage therapist or acupuncturist or something like that. Okay. A pressure point artist. I don't know. I'm getting this energy of somebody putting their hands in like cracking bones and you know, needing you like some dough, honestly, but you feel great afterwards. I'm getting that energy. I'm also getting somebody going to like a steam room and getting slapped with something. Maybe it's like eucalyptus or rosemary or something or some pine. 
needles. I don't know what it looks like it though. It looks like a pine. Anyways. Some of you guys might be taking ice baths too. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. I'm getting like alternative ways to like, they're saying take you back to factory settings. Like after you get a nice relaxing bath, you feel like, okay, I'm good. Or after you take an ice bath, you're like, okay. Or after you go see the chiropractor, you're like, oh, good, I'm reset. There's something about that. So people could see you as your vibe is giving off of reset right now, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking care of home base right now. Numero uno, as they say, right? That's the energy I'm getting. Okay, so what is Gemini's vibe saying about them? Yeah. <laughs> like, you can miss me with the bullshit, too. That's for some of you guys. So, Gemini, you could be cutting people off right now. You could be not answering calls, missing messages, leaving people on red, blocking people. Or you could just be letting people do this to you. Like, bro, don't let the door hit you or the good Lord split you. Because if you, <laughs> like, I don't, you know what I mean? Again, booked and unbothered. It's giving that energy here. So whatever's coming into your life, you're kind of like, mm, I'll see. But damn sure whatever's leaving your life, you're not stressing about that. So there's something about that. Yeah, I feel like you're elusive. That was what I was getting with the moon. Like, that's what your vibe's giving, Gemini. It's like, I am elusive. I will show myself what I want to show myself. They're giving me the energy of that flower that only blooms like once every 12 years. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what flower it is. But I know that it smells like, it smells like a decaying body. It's in some kind of conservatory somewhere. I watched a, um, a video on it once and it only blooms like every... 12 years or 20 years or something it's a long time okay and it smells like a rotting body or like something like that so it's almost like give in but the the bloom is like incredibly beautiful so it's like that's the contracting difference right or contrasting excuse me difference that's the contradiction here in your energy because there's almost something that's like so beautiful and rare about you when you do pop out but the rest of the time there's like this stench and by stench I mean your energy your vibe it's like, I'm nowhere, I'm, I'm missing an action. I'm MIA, I'm not here. I will come out and bloom when I want to. That's such a weird example that they gave me just now. But yes, okay, you're like that rotting flower that only blooms every like 20 years, but it's by choice, right? I don't know. People could really be trying to figure out what you're doing or where you're at, okay? What's going on with you for sure, Gemini. You're so elusive. You're like a mystery that people want to solve. Okay, so if you have social media or something like that, yeah, people could be spying on your social media. Okay, looking for updates. Um, when's Gemini going to post? What, what, what are they doing? Right, for sure. Especially if you're a divine feminine or a divine feminine is doing that to you. Take it as it resonates. Or feminine energy. She don't got to be divine. Take it. Take it as it resonates. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's Gemini's vibe telling about saying about them right now? We're gonna get one more. What's Gemini's vibe saying about them? That's too many. I just want one more spirit. What's Gemini's vibe? Just one more, please. What's Gemini's vibe saying about them? Okay, Gemini. For some of you, I feel like again, we're we're still continuing with that elusive theme. It's like you will connect with the people that you want to connect with. That's what your vibe is saying, right? Some of you, your vibe could be saying that you have somebody special or you have somebody that you're connecting to, for sure. I'm getting that energy. It's like your, it's like your energy is saying, like, I'm here for a, a good time when I want to be here for a good time, right? Like, you cultivate very strong connections, but it's one-on-one. -on -one. Your vibe could also be saying that you're reminiscing about something or you're romanticizing something, Gemini. I don't know. That is for somebody, okay? Somebody could swear you're in love with their ass. I don't know what these are. It's like you're nice to people and they swear you're in love with them. It's like, okay, bro, relax. But anyways, yeah, I feel like there's something that's blooming. Some of you guys, your vibe could say that you got a little something, something blooming in the uh, romance area or that you have a crush. Or this could be you and your twin on the same page with yourself. Yeah, for sure. You're blooming into like a new version of yourself for some of you guys because not everybody out here is with anybody or interested with anybody. Yeah. Okay. 
that's the energy I'm getting. Like, I feel like there's some of you guys, it could be that romance is in the air. That's what your vibe is giving. Like you're, you know, you're connecting with somebody, you're talking about them all the time. You know, if you have a friend group, suddenly this person's getting invited everywhere with you and your friends. And it's like, it's obvious that you're into somebody, you're into this person, and this is turning into a connection for you. That is for some of you guys, okay? For others of you, this could be somebody that you're reminiscing about, and it's obvious to people around you that you are thinking about somebody from your past, okay? That is for another group of you. I feel like this is going to be the majority of you guys. I feel like this is representing you and your twin. Like, you know how they say the Gemini is the sign of the twins. I feel like this is you and your twin on the same page with yourself. You like it when you can relax and just leave people on hold. I'm not going to say red. Damn, Gemini, I'm just saying. For some of you guys, it's like, I will get to you when I feel like it's appropriate or when I feel like I can or whatever. Like, it's something like that, okay? I just feel like you're blooming into a new version of yourself. I'm getting that so strongly. Your ancestors are so proud of you for holding healthy boundaries, for, you know, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. Some of you guys are eating better or you're surrounding yourself with nice things, pretty things. You're cleaning up your room, I'm hearing, you know, taking care of yourself, going the extra mile for yourself. You're not just going to give yourself a, a rusty, dusty shower. You're going to set up a bath, put bubbles in there, put bath oils and bath salts, put candles right? Put some nice music on, light an incense. You know, you're going to just go all out because you deserve it. And for some of you, maybe there was this energy if, if you are or you have been reminiscing of somebody from your past. It's like, I'm hearing you can miss me with that bullshit. Like they weren't able to give you what you can give yourself. So maybe you you do consider the good times you have with this person at one point, but you see that maybe that was all the potential it ever had. Somebody could be feeling that way about you. That's what your vibe's giving off. Like, I recognize the soul connection, but I also recognize that this is as far as it can go. Like, literally. You know, this rose is not going to bloom any more than what it is right now. And I say it all the time when we get this card, right? So you're going to have to figure it out. Do you want to pick this rose, let nature take its course, it just decays and dies and falls off the plant, new growth will appear eventually, right? Do you want to dry this rose? What are you going to do with it? But either way, something's going to happen. So that could be a vibe for somebody, you know? Maybe they feel like you feel like you've given them enough time, you know? That is for some of you guys. Let's get some tarot out here interesting message i wasn't sure what i was gonna get but i like it okay so this relaxation what is this talking about for the vibe that gemini is giving off right now this is gonna be way too much guys but i am getting that same theme mm -hmm. some of y'all had to make a decision to leave something behind to end something or you feel like you were betrayed or something like that you were let down right you were led on for some of you guys. That's how you're feeling. Whatever, it, however it resonates for you, Gemini, you've been sad. You've been feeling like a little betrayed or feeling some type of way about something. Possibly connected to somebody or to a situation that you were very invested in with this um, Two of Cups. Cancerian energy, again, there could have been a Cancer definitely involved in this for sure. Or you cusp with Cancer. Take it as it resonates. I just feel like there's this energy here of... You had to make a decision because something wasn't balanced. It wasn't leaving you feeling balanced. This wasn't your Ten of Cups that you thought it was going to be. It was the Two of Cups and Two of Cups is fine, but Two of Cups is not the Ten of Cups, you know? And there was some kind of indecision surrounding this. Oh, I wasn't even going to use this deck. I was going to use a different deck. Is it okay if I use this deck? I guess so, right? We're going to use this deck. So what is this, this relaxation energy? What is this for Gemini's vibe right now? I feel I'm hearing like you can look all you want, but you can't touch. There's something about that, like calls being put on hold, Gemini. I feel like you're reflecting a lot too with this page of swords, like you're trying to figure something out. You're trying to maybe figure out where you stand in regards to something. People could be seeing you as a really deep thinker. I wouldn't normally, 
I guess like I would get deep thinker with the page of swords, but I'm more getting the energy of trying to search for something, maybe searching for clarity. People could be seeing you as very reflective right now before like thinking before you speak for sure. I feel like you're overcoming some kind of overthinking or being anxious. I'm not getting an anxious energy with this relaxation here with this page of swords. Actually, I'm getting very clear headed or just taking time to respond, taking time to think again before you speak, before you act. Some of you might have been making really impulsive actions here. OK. Some of you guys are thinking really deeply about something that you're committed to right now. Like, do I want to stay committed to this? That could be your vibe right now. Somebody around you could be recognizing that you're kind of on the you're you're taking more care of yourself you're considering yourself more than you are this connection or this person's feelings at one point i feel like you were a doormat to this situation this person whatever this is they're seeing that you're kind of putting yourself first this is definitely peaking interest here but they also see that you're thinking you're not saying as much as like you normally would so they're wondering people are definitely wondering what you're thinking because your vibe is like silence or I'm getting like the tip of the tongue is what they're giving me. So people might feel like there's something here where something that you want to say, it's on the tip of your tongue. Some people are saying, or I, this is not what people are saying, but I feel like it's your vibe. So it is like what people, your vibe is how people are going to take you, right? I don't know. Okay. But your vibe could definitely be saying right now that you have, you're very uh, like, confident about something when it comes to your career or your success for some of you guys i'm hearing i got it in the bag okay you're very skilled in something or you have a lot of knowledge or you're learning more day by day you're getting better at something gemini your vibe is saying that you're going to be very successful in something like you almost don't even have to stress about it even if you are again your vibe is saying that you're not okay i'm getting that your vibe is saying that you're very destined for success here like you could be working on a group project or working with other people. If you are working with other people, you outshine them, Gemini, just naturally because you're relaxing. You know, you're not on like a treadmill, like, you know, putting in that, putting in the, like, that's not what your vibe's giving off. Even if you are, like you are putting in a lot of work. It feels like it comes easily to you or it feels like it comes natural, Gemini. Okay. That's what your vibe is saying. That things come natural. Things come easy. I'm very successful. I'm very good looking. I feel like there's also a lot of pampering, taking care of yourself. Your vibe is saying that you care about what you look like, Gemini. Like the aesthetic definitely matters to you. Okay. Yeah. People, people, I'm hearing Mr. Lover Lover. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> Gemini, your vibe could say that you love him and leave him a little bit or that you know how cute you are, right? You know, you might be able to get away with something, Gemini. I don't know, okay? But your vibe is saying like, I don't know. I'm getting like a really good energy off of it. I like it. I don't know. I feel like uh, people around you might kind of look at you sometimes like, Gemini might be a little full of themselves or Gemini might be like off in La La Land. Like, what are they fucking doing over there? Like, who are they, <laughs> who are they posing for? I don't know. There's some kind of energy about that. You are the main character of this bitch, okay? Come on now, you are. Yeah, and that's what this is giving. It's giving like main character energy. That's what your vibe is. All right, Gemini, let's move on, right? This missed calls, okay? What is this for what your vibe is saying right now? What, ooh, 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 ooh. what is this? Five of Pentacles, like you just don't have time for it. I don't know. Yeah, Gemini, I don't feel like you're accepting people's help right now. You might be choosing to stay out in the cold for some of you guys that's your vibe like I'm not coming in you know for your source of comfort or source of light or whatever it is you're offering whatever it is you're trying to sell okay because these two are roughing it they're choosing to rough it they see this sanctuary here they see this energy of where we could go in we could get warmth we could get help but they're choosing to rough it so for some of you guys, um, your vibe is just giving off that I'd rather, I'd rather be on my own or I'd rather rougher and I'd rather just, you know, go my own separate ways. There's nothing wrong with that shit. I'm hearing, I don't know why I'm hearing that song, but I am. 
I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to work harder. Yeah, for some of you, you don't want to sell out. That could be for some of you guys. Like, so you might be missing some, you might have like a lot of people in your email or calling you up for sponsorships or wanting to collab, wanting to work with you. You could have a lot of people trying to throw themselves at you, even romantic um, energy, Gemini or friends or whatever. And it's like, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to work harder. For some of you guys, you would rather do it on your own than get help from somebody. That's what your vibe's saying. Okay, Gemini. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, look, justice. It Literally, it almost came out. And then I was thinking to myself, I wonder if it's going to come back out because I got a strong message with it. I feel like for some of you guys with this missed uh, call, it's like you have absolutely no problem cutting things out that you do not feel like are in alignment with you, balanced, whatever. And again, it goes vice versa too. If somebody removes themselves from your life, you have absolutely no problem with it. Like there's not any of this like, okay, well, why or what? Well, you know, it's like, no, obviously there was an issue. So I'm glad that you went ahead and took care of that. That's the kind of energy you got because... I feel like, again, what's for you is what's for you, and you know that. So there's no energy here of, like, staying in things, negative things, or toxic things, or what you feel might be toxic, or what you feel might not be in alignment with you. It's like almost like being able to see the truth and stand on it. That's for some of you guys. Like, your vibe is definitely giving, like, if you do me wrong, I will not talk to you, think about you waste my time on you right back pedal back step okay block you unblock you block you back no none of that shit right it's like with the justice is like what's done is done that's that kind of energy gemini so some of you guys could have people trying to come back from your past for sure and it's just like bring, 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 right this is just ringing 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 i don't know gemini yeah somebody could be damn near obsessed capricorn energy aries energy with this fool for me libra energy cancerian pisces but take it as it resonates okay yeah i feel like there is that energy somebody who wants your attention or wants to indulge in you a little bit um, I feel like somebody calling you over and over and over again, somebody from your past, they fucked up. I feel like you're not accepting this person back. So your vibe could really, yeah, this is making them sad as hell for some of you guys. So your vibe is really giving, I have strong fucking boundaries. And if I even sense, sniff in the air, okay, that something is awry, it's like, I'm going to miss you with that. Like, nah, I'm good on that. You can miss me with that bullshit. That's what I'm getting. Oh man, I'm hearing, uh, what is that? Kodak Black, you ain't the one for me, baby. You ain't got shit I need, bitch. You, you want me to take my time with you or maybe I'm not your speed, bitch. <laughs> maybe I'm out your league, bitch. <laughs> you ain't got no cheese, bitch. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Maybe I'm just too G for you or maybe I'm just too street, bitch. I don't know. So some of you guys might feel like somebody just, I don't know. Like... If you're not on my level, just say that. Or you feel like somebody isn't. Or I'm. you ain't the one for me, baby. You ain't got shit I need, bitch. There's something about that. I don't know, Gemini. Damn, that's a cutthroat energy right there. But that's a vibe you're giving off. Okie dokie. What is this justice energy? I'm kind of curious. Look, King of Wands wanting to come out in reverse. Somebody that wanted to put you in a competition, conflict... You know, waste your time, right? It, it's it's giving that kind of energy. This person could have been a soulmate. So your vibe is giving off that you're not going to put up with any bullshit, basically. What is this talking about over here? For what Gemini's vibe is. Okay, because I start. I, we're going to see. I'm not going to speak too much, but we're going to see. Look, Queen of Wands. Wow. Queen of Wands with the King of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys, your vibe really is saying that you had to let go of a soulmate or you had to let go of something that you felt like was very connected to you. Some of you guys had to make, um, take a really masculine, uh, action is what I'm getting here to remove something toxic from your life. Okay. Some of you guys are leaning into that feminine energy to allow yourself to bloom and maybe come into your full potential. I am getting that message still guys. Okay. That for some of you, this is you and your twin on the same page and you are turning into this master manifester. That's what the queen of wands for me is. I guess some people would say it's the king of wands, but for me as a reader, the queen of the wands, right? She's the master manifester. 
And I do feel like there's something about you blooming or leveling up, glowing up, especially from my feminine energies. If you had to say goodbye to a masculine energy recently, I feel like you're on the glow up tour 2024, okay? For some of you, for sure. For some of you, I am getting that message of your vibe is saying that you're just in love right now with somebody or you're interested in somebody, okay? With the judgment and the six of swords, I feel like you're making better judgment calls when it comes to whatever it is that you're connecting yourself to, Gemini. So if this is people, places, things, yeah, because I feel like you have had your uh, fair share of loss, Gemini, okay, and toxic energy in your life. For some of you, your vibe really, I don't know why people are so involved in your love life or maybe this isn't a partner and this is just a situation, Right? Um, but whatever this is, your vibe could be saying that you're, uh, well, it's like sail away, right? My voice is not what it should be tonight. So I really don't feel like singing guys, but you know, yeah, I'm getting that energy for sure that you've left something behind or that you're turning your back on something. That's what your vibe is saying. You're ready to see what else is out there. She ain't even looking this way. She's like, girl, bye. There's something about that. I don't know, Gemini, I feel like your vibe is saying that you're willing to move on if it's in your best interest, which I don't see anything wrong with that at all. Yeah. Cut off queen, cut off king, okay? To keep your balance, to keep your sanity, to keep yourself healthy. Okay, shit, I ain't mad at you. All right, let's get some advice slash additional messages for what your vibe is saying right now. Y'all gotta let me know if you like this type of reading. So we have a surrender to receive. Yeah, isn't that what she's doing? Surrendering, relaxing, not stressing about it, knowing that she's going to receive for sure, you know? And sometimes it can be hard to kind of let go of the desired outcomes, but there's something that you're recognizing that's within you, a power that you have within you. Some of you guys are definitely exerting those healthy boundaries here, attracting through your glow, attracting, um, you know, what's in alignment for you, right to you. That's for somebody. Yeah, because you're a master manifester. Duh. What else do we have here? Additional messages slash advice. Okay, keep trying, Gemini. Keep working on yourself. Keep trying. And then we have actions are going to lead to success. Okay, Gemini, that has been your reading. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.